welcome to EVS class today we are going to deal with new lesson lesson number four the lifestyles of animals biodiversity so in this lesson we are going to study about lifestyles of animals and also in the biodiversity now let us know actually what is biodiversity let us have a look now see children what is biodiversity biodiversity is nothing but many forms of life many forms of life now if you see animals insects plants people and different layers all together we will call it as biodiversity so biodiversity is nothing but many forms of life different kinds of life bio means life diversity means many forms you can see different kinds of plants animals people insects different layers of the earth all together we will call it as biodiversity so in your higher classes you are going to study more detailly about biodiversity now see this one more poster about biodiversity yes biodiversity means different kinds of life forms it may be plants it may be animals it may be people or it may be the different parts of the earth so it takes all kinds to make a world it takes all kinds to make the world okay children now let us see the topic the lifestyles of animals biodiversity human beings live in families right children human beings actually lives in families therefore they are called social animals so human beings are called social animals for various needs we are dependent on each other we gather food to eat clothes to wear houses to live in and vehicles to travel isn't it children yes we need very various needs because of various needs we are dependent on each other we gather food to eat right we are wearing clothes we have different kinds of houses to live in and also we have different vehicles to travel then what about animals how do they live what do they do for their living do you know the lifestyles of animals yes this is all about we are going to study in this lesson about lifestyles of animals now children see the picture what can you see this observe in this picture yes you can see some group of elephants right yes group of elephants so group of elephants are called herds group of elephant is called herd now can you see how many elephants are there in the herd so where are they going so actually some 10 to 12 elephants are there in a herd so where they are going in the form of herd children yes to have a food and also to to take care of their babies now see here let us see actually why do they move in herds so what could be the benefits of moving in herds to see children generally to gather the food and also to protect their young ones they'll go in groups they will move in groups now let us see some story of these elephants how do animals live so elephants in the forest live in herds yes children they live in herds there are many there may be 10 to 12 elephants in each herd there may be 10 to 12 elephants in each herd along with their babies okay can you see this picture along with their babies you can see some 10 to 12 elephants moving in a herd so in this herd female elephants are more in number so in this group not only in this group any herd if you see female elephants are more in number and you can see this male elephants leave the herds at the age of 15 so now what we have studied so in a herd 
you will see young elephants young ones babies of the elephants and you will see the female elephants more in number and this male herd male elephants leave the herd at the age of 15 usually an old female elephant lead the herd so who is who, who is going to lead the herd yes female elephant so she starts her journey in the morning with the trumpet what is the trumpet children yes it is a loud cry of an elephant you know how the elephants will make the sounds right the loud sound so that is called trumpet so with the trumpet by hearing this trumpet all the elephants start gathering and what they'll do they'll move in the herds so others follow her so the journey halts where the rich vegetation is seen which rich vegetation means wherever they find more plants and also any fruits and vegetables there they will uh, reach and then they'll start eating the leaves all these feed on the leaves and the tender branches so tender means very soft branches delicate branches green color branches they'll take the leaves and branches so by afternoon they enter the nearby water source and swim in the water so slowly they'll enter the source and they'll swim in the water so the babies are taught to swim yes so the babies are taught to swim now they play splashing with their trunks you know the trunk yes children very long trunk is there flexible so that one with the help of that trunk they will play splashing so this way of leaving this way of leaving this way of leaving in groups ensure the protection of their baby elephants okay so now see here and also food search and the defense from the enemies they'll defense from the enemies means they'll protect their babies and also they fight against the enemies now let us see here discuss in groups so which other animals are living in herds living in groups which are the other animals living in groups children yes which are the animals are living in groups so many animals are there i will show you yes see here first let us see elephants are living in a group a group of elephants are called herds can you see this yes can you see this trunk yes this is a trunk now see here african elephants need african elephants need to protect itself from the predators and protect the babies elephants live in herd and the entire herd helps protect the babies yes children entire herds will protect the babies and they also protects from predators and they can have the food also okay now what is a baby elephant called it is called as calf it is called as calf now see children what are the other animals living in groups see here zebra is living in groups see this monkeys living in groups yes see this tigers deer giraffe some cows and in your daily life have you ever seen these buffaloes are moving in groups yes children they are moving in groups have you seen yes and you can have also have seen some birds are moving in a flock in a groups have you seen yes you have you seen ants yeah all this move in the groups okay now let us see what is prey and predator see children predator prey relationship a predator is an organism that eats another organism so this lion is called as predator okay it is going to kill this zebra okay now this zebra will become prey it will become prey because it is going to be killed so the prey is the organism which the predator eats so this lion is going to eat this zebra so this is prey and this is predator okay now i'll ask one more question now snake is there frog is there right now snake is going to eat this frog now tell me which is predator yeah snake is a predator and this frog will become a prey 
because it it will become a food it will become a food to snake so that is called as prey now see here very simple example lion is a predator zebra is a prey not only for carnivores the same concept exists for animals that it plants now see here mouse is there and it is a berry so mouse is going to eat this berry so mouse will become predator and this berry will become prey did you understood this concept children very simple concept okay the food we will call it as prey and which is going to eat this food is called as predator yes now predator an organism that consumes another organism and inevitably kills them so it will kill them it will attack them and they will eat so such kind of things will called as pre predators okay now see here what might be the reasons for the animals to live in groups what might be the reasons children now only we have studied to protect from predators to hunt prey with less risk and effort can help to find more food so these are the reasons why these animals live together okay now see here so that's about elephants we all know how our pets live yes children so now see we all know how our pets live how they live children our pets for example if you are having a pet dog so how it will live so whatever the food you will give it will take and it will live in the shelter whichever you are giving and that is how it guards our house so all this you have to know okay so if you want to know more about animals please watch national geographic channel okay national geographic channel and also discovery channel on your tv so today children after uh, listening to the class just you switch on to the tvs and watch the channels national geography channel or this discovery channel there you will find predator and prey and how the different kinds of animals living together okay and how they are sharing this environment everything will be shown clearly you can find all these kind of animals okay children if you want to know more about animals please do watch this discovery channel and also national geographic channel okay there will be different books in our school library whenever you will visit the schools you can also go to the library and study about different kinds of animals Just read these books you can improve your knowledge okay children so now you can discuss in group with your friends about these different kinds of animals and you know children till now we have studied that animals can live in groups but you know some animals live alone yes some animals live alone why children why they are living alone yes because it is easier to find food and shelter for themselves in rough climates see children sometimes there will be less food okay or the climate will be more hot or very cool some different climatic condition what happens children then they want to live yes alone so that they can find the food easier and they can have the shelter easier okay that is why some animals they will live alone now see here do you know kala what is this picture children tigers can you see different kinds of tigers yes many kinds of tigers are there see here tigers are perfect in hunting yes children tigers are perfect in hunting the cubs do not so do not know how to hunt generally you can see cubs yes baby babies of tigers they don't know how to hunt then what they will do they learn hunting by observing the adult tigers so they will observe the adult tigers adult tigers means yes big tigers that is older tigers now now this tigers elder tigers also you can call okay this adult tigers they will observe the adult tigers the cubs play in the groups and learn many things yes children always these cubs play in groups and they learn many things and they will observe the adult tigers 
how they are hunting and they will learn how to hunt. Okay, this is a do you know column. So you have to remember. So tigers are perfect in hunting. The cubs do not know how to hunt. They learn hunting by observing the adult tigers. The cubs play in the groups and learn many things. Okay, children. So in the next class, we will see about birds, how the birds will live. And today, let us complete this topic. So tomorrow, we'll discuss about, uh, yes, birds. Okay. Try to read the textbook, underline the hard words, children. Watch Discovery Channel. Okay. Thank you, children. Have a good day.